move towards the big fight that everyone has been waiting for. Well, it's been a fabulous night of action so far. And the expression, saving the best to last, is never more appropriate. The IKF world title fight, moments away now. And Kieran, this is a fight that people have been talking about for a couple of months now. How excited are you for this one? Well, you know what? It's actually been brewing for years because Chad Sutton worked his way through the um, junior circuit, amateur circuit. He literally cleared every title up you could imagine. He then went, moved on to the K1 scene and he fought on some big shows literally around the world. Still a young man. And he's been calling out or there's been talks of him fighting Wakeman for a while now. And he believes it's the right time. But let me tell you, I've said it from day one, Michael is the most entertaining fighter in the UK. He's explosive, he's very tenacious, a good combination setup. Sugden knows here to upset the odds. A good mover, a good amateur kickboxing background, so he's got some good footwork. Well, there is Michael Wakeling. 29 wins from 31 fights. One loss and one draw as a professional, currently unbeaten in 10 years. But surely, Kieran, if there's anyone that could usurp the current king, it is Chad Sugden, isn't it? Yeah, you know, if there's anyone in the country that could possibly cause an upset, it would be Sugden. Um, you know, he looked the bigger of the two of the way in yesterday, but Wakelin now, you know, yesterday he looked scorned than that, but now he looks like a new man. He's muscly, he's built, and uh, like I told you, expect fireworks for this fight. It's a big, big, I, I tell you, both gyms, both popular boys, and uh, they've both got huge, huge tickets sold last night at the weigh-in. You can see the amount of people who have turned up just to watch this fight. And you've got to give it to the main event because this is what it's about. People fighting each other, they want to prove a point. Some other sports or other martial arts, you know, people avoid each other too much. K1, they'll fight each other, and they both fight each other at their prime. Michael, still only 29 years of age, 10 years under P, but Chad Sutton, the new guy on the block. He doesn't, in theory, he doesn't even need to give him the chance, but He's rightly stepped up and said, come on, let's take it. And incredible to think that with all the hype surrounding Chad Sugden, with all the social media talk and the pedigree that goes with him, he's 20 years of age. I know. Absolutely phenomenal athlete. Genuinely regarded as one of the best England has ever produced. And genuinely a real chance to claim the spot as the UK's number one kickboxing K1 rules fighter here. And like I said, it's a, you know, the, the crowd are definitely going to be on the feet for this one. I think half the arena's just sold out just on this fight alone. You can see the tattoos on the, uh, on the arm of Chad soaked in there. We've got Marvin Hagler, Muhammad oh, Ali. Ladies Tyson. and gentlemen, yeah, this is the, the Tyson. main event of the evening. Sanctioned by the International Kickboxing Federation. Your representative at ringside, Mr. Carl Sams. Your judges, Maxine Phillips, Darren Phillips, and Cassie Robinson. And when the action starts in the ring, your referee, Mr. Chris Podesta. And now, the officials are ready, the fighters are ready. Barclay Card Arena Birmingham, are you ready? Five three minute rounds for the IKF Super Middleweight Championship of the World. 
Introducing to you firstly, fighting out of the blue corner. He comes to you by way of the Scorpions in London, Michael Wycliffe. And standing across the ring, his opponent. He comes to you by way of Suggy's Gym in Newark. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Chad Too Slick Sugden. Five three minute rounds for the IKF Super Middleweight Championship of the world. Well, it all comes down to this. Needless to say, what's at stake here? Pride. The UK number one spot at super middleweight, the IKF world title. Chad Sugden in the red corner, Michael Wakeling in the blue. Any last thoughts? Well, you know, just looking at Michael's got his dad in his corner. Chad's got his dad in his corner. Scorpions, of course, run by Mark Wagner. His son, Stephen, as well, was uh, an incredible fighter. So they come from a great stable of fighters. What were, you, what were your thoughts looking at them in the weigh-in yesterday, respectively? Well, you know, for me, Michael is, is the strong one. But, like I said, Chad's got nothing to lose. He's been a hell of a lot more active than Michael. And like I said, with, with Chad, he'll have a game plan. He'll have a game plan. They're very sharp, quick boxers. And straight to work. A much more traditional boxing stance as we saw in some of the other K1 rules fights. Nice jab landed from Wakeling. Uh, I said Michael, very aggressive. Oh, nice left hook, and Wakeling catches the leg. Down goes Sugden. A little bit mark, and mark under the right eye of Sugden. It's a little one. Yeah, you're absolutely right. A little bit of reddening, isn't there? There, straight away. A couple of low kicks, and Wakeling then misses the. But this is how Sugden fights in and out. As you can see on his t-shirt, make and miss, make and pay. He's very elusive, very quick on his feet. Michael will stalk you down. It's a good counter left hook. His left hand is low though, Michaels. He's obviously got no respect at all for Chad's power. Wakeling now has a nice right hand, then a jab on the way in, but Sugden rather, but Wakeling's taking them well. Nice double left hook. Excellent fight, isn't it? It's just a fight, you know, the skill of these two. Clean, clean shots from both of them. At the moment, the power's with Michael, you can just tell. But, like I said, five rounds. Michael! So Wakeling just got that sort of veteran look about him, isn't he? A bit more, bit more well muscled, a little bit leaner. Been through a few wars, perhaps. Sugden, the young up and coming challenges that was a good left hook there just momentarily stunned Wakeling yeah it was a lot it was like a check hook wasn't it wasn't much power behind it but still they're the ones that catch you that's what I said what uh, Chad will do he'll slip slide he'll put his, throw his shoulder into he's got some good footwork and some good boxing skills he's always on the back foot does like a lot of rope doping as well yeah look at Sugden just waiting trying to bring Wakeling onto shots but Wakeling not shy of coming forward Combination from Sugden, but the uh, to the midsection was blocked. Good, excellent round. Good Fast exchange it. between the two.
and you can just see that uh, Dean Sugden just putting his ears up. You know, a lot of people, well, a lot of people outside might not have thought this had gone around, but obviously they proved their critics wrong. And you know, that was a great round. Michael very aggressive. Chad on the back foot scoring points though. Very, very close round. Just see there in the replay there. Go on, there's 10 Michael's seconds. Got his left hand low. I think he's just trying to work on that left jab or left. Seconds out. Obviously, no respect at all for Chad's power. Round two. So, second round of five. Wakeling takes to the centre of the ring. Same pattern as in the first round. Sugden moving along the outside, waiting for his man, trying to counter. Nice combination. Uppercut in the middle of there somewhere as well from Sugden. Electric atmosphere here though tonight, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. It's been building towards this moment, and now they're in there. Crowd are in full voice. Marcus starts to use his legs a bit more now. Those low kicks, I tell you. Very, very hard. And Wakeling just digging in. That kick, down goes Sugden. Did he slip on the back of the ropes there? Well, Chad's getting caught by low kicks now. Just missed with the lead up a cut there and it pushes that kick through. Short your interpretation of it is but Wakeling looks much the bigger and stronger man in there yeah it was funny at the way you know he looked the other way around yeah. obviously the refueling and experience of Michael he's huge but not only bigger but it, almost leaner as well with the size <laughs> fabulous display from Michael Wakeling yeah you know it's coming, you know, it, this round is his so far because he's getting, he's picking off Sugden here, left, right and centre. Now clinching, Sugden just drives in the into the midsection. He said with Michael with tenacious, he'll keep throwing shots. Forward he comes again, just stalking Sugden. Oh, nice back kick from Sugden there. Wakeling responds with a low kick of his own. He's a menace, isn't he, Wakeling? Literally, looks like a, he looks like he's going to go in there and try and take your head off. He's one of those fighters just in there. your face. Yeah. yeah, the whole time. Chad, Chad's very, very, like, you know, got that poker face on to work on the counter. Well, Wakeling landing cleanly. Sugden taking the well. It sort of looks fairly calm, Chad Sugden. He is, yeah, like I said, like he's got some nice boxing skills, not the most powerful, but very, very good combination. Oh, nice combination. Oh, just misses the spinning back fist there. Well, this has definitely lived up to expectations. Some fireworks, that's two incredible rounds. I have to give that round to Michael. Michael looked the stronger there. Very aggressive. Just looking at Sugged in there in the corner. What do you think the corner meant? We'll be giving him advice wise well, from those first know, two rounds. Well, you know, his dad, you know, he's been with him literally from the beginning. If anyone knows how to do it and pull it out of the bag, it'll be him. There's three more rounds left. I'm sure he'll be telling him that. Now his style is, of course, like I said, in and out, work your combinations. Michael's been very, very strong and aggressive. So, uh, and like I said, it's been months and months of tactics, game plans and talks about this fight. It's living up to it so far. Bonus 10 seconds. Of course, uh, Sugden getting that deal with K1 Global. 
few years ago now. Round Such a young age three. Well, so a little baptism of fire for him, but great experience. I would have prepared him for this level of competition on this type of stage as well. He won't be overawed by the occasion at the moment. Just perhaps on the end of a man with well, 10 years more experience and at points in this fight, he's just showing. Yeah, like I said, that Chad's been a, the most active of the two over the last, especially over the last three or four years. But, you know, Michael fights once, twice a year, but he just never seems to be ring rusty. The call with the right hand there, though. It's more aggressive. His first uh, 50 seconds from Chad Sugden. to hold his position there. A little bit of complaints there about holding the leg. It's nice head movement from Sugden to move out the way of the hook and then mount the offence of his own. Finish it with a kick to the midsection. Yeah, Sugden scoring well. And like I said, it's not the most powerful fight, but he's very, very good at scoring shots. He never seems to throw more than a single shot, he seems to throw combinations. So it's nice head movement from Sugden again, just getting yeah. out of the way, making a miss. And the crowd really, really getting into this as the action and the tempo of the fight begins to rise. So does the noise. Big shots from Wakeling. Blood of the nose now of Sugden as he took a big shot there. Oh, down he goes. The lead leg was grabbed and he was off balance. Oh, and yet again, the rope saving this time. Wakely commanding the centre of the ring. The pace just drops a, a tad. Perhaps symptomatic if it was a frantic opening couple of minutes. Yeah, it was. counters from Sugden. I don't know if Chad, you know, has felt the power of Michael. He seems, to, he seems to have dropped a lot of his shots out, doesn't he? Just seems to be on the back foot. Doesn't really want to trade too much with Michael at all. Well, Wakeling just cutting the ring off, mirroring Sugden's movements. Not giving him too much room. Well, a lot of posturing from the corners trying to put forward their own arguments to the judges that they believe their man's in front but at the moment through three rounds who do you have this for? I have uh, Michael Wakeling ahead now you know round two and three he was an uh, aggressor he was stronger yes of course he, he's been he's been told off there for catching legs but you know he's just the stronger of the two at the moment you know the experience is going to go with Michael but you know can Chad the younger man with the younger legs can he can he work hard for the next two rounds and turn it round? Still very possible. You see there, the ferocious exchange which blooded the nose of Chad. He dropped his head there, tries to throw a combination on the counter. Corners, 10 seconds. Seconds out. Round four. Once again, Sugden just inching his way back, trying to look for the counter. Such a tear up in there. Michael Wakeling just throwing with everything he's got, and there's so much venom behind these shots. Left hook. Sugden hangs on to the rope there with Wakeling. Good right hand there. Took that well though, Chad, to be fair. Oh, 
Now Sugden in the centre of the race, spinning oh, back fist, that landed. Legs. Just saw for a, for a moment there, just uh, Wakeling, just a little bit startled by that. He tried that a couple of rounds ago and missed Sugden. You know, Chad should be following that up. You know, he should be he is behind on points. He landed a good spinning back fist and he just sort of waited. And a couple of nice kicks there from Sugden. He's just going to take the wind out of the sails of Michael Wakeling. He's taken, has he taken the best of him? If he has, and now he can mount an offence of his own. Well, Chad doesn't seem to be pressing the fight at all now. He's, uh, you know, Michael stepped off the gas a bit. Goodness me, he didn't miss by much there. Now left hook from Wakeling, but Good landed in the chest, and that was nice from Sugden. And Wakeling dug the knee in there, not sure how cleanly it landed. This what Michael does, you know, for 10, 20 seconds, he sort of steps off the gas, and all of a sudden, full, full forward, throws lots of shots. It's a nice one-two, though, from Sugden. <laughs> so Sugden there, just have a look up to the time, with a minute to go, so perhaps a signal that he's feeling the pace. Nice left hook there, just pop the chin to the side of Wakefink. He's taking it, come forward against two tough, tough men in there. Yeah, absolutely. The conditioning and sparring and months of training coming through right now. He got caught there, both of them got caught with the left hook as they come up. Absolutely, yeah. Michael Wakeling looking for the first time a little bit exhausted. Just the legs have lost the bounce. And is this the older man? In Michael Wakeling. Can Chad Sugden take advantage? So plenty of posturing as there was in the previous round. Just so much support and everyone clambered around the ring. It's hard to hear yourself speak, really. It is, yeah. And it's hard to know who's scoring because each each man's scoring points and getting their own cheers and their own corners and their own sets of fans and just deafening atmosphere in here. Just what you want for... Well, I've got Michael Wakelin well ahead, to be honest with you. He's, uh, he's clearly the aggressive. He's landing the cleanest shots. Chad, you know, he landed a nice spinning back, back fist. Didn't seem to follow it up. He doesn't seem to like he wants to get engaged at all. But you know, going into this last round, his dad's got to tell him, you know, you're behind. You have to start throwing your big bombs. To see his corner there of Michael. Brother Stephen and his dad there, Mark, just telling him one more round. Uh, all ladies got. and gentlemen, this is the fifth and final championship well, round. Been a tremendous evening. Live well up to the expectations, as has the main event. Chad Sugden and Michael Wakeling all to fight for. And here we go, the final three minutes. Sugden circling around to his left-hand side. Wakeling stalking him. Now Sugden comes forward with a combination. Wakeling short kick to the leg. And then misses with his combination. A lot of work to do for Sugden. Good knee through the middle. It was, just caught him on the right side of the ribs. And then a kick to the same part of the body. I think the level of experience now, you can just tell. You know, it looks a bit, a bit too much for Sugden at the moment. Big knee up the middle. Just driving that into the midsection. Sugden backpedalling now. Surely that's not the best place for him. He's got to walk forwards. Got to try and make a dent on his man. Forward comes Michael Wakeley. Almost robotic, just relentless. Yeah, Chad, you know, Chad looks hurt. Look for that spinning back fist, but didn't measure it correctly. for the lead right hand and the referee comes in <laughs> referee in good condition he did a kick there as well <laughs> <laughs> a 
And a minute 20 to go past the halfway mark. But the power's gone completely from Chad, isn't it? Mark was looking for the finish. He won't let you go, I tell you. Sucked in, showing his toughness. And as you said earlier, that poker face is giving nothing away. A slight bit of heavy breathing. Wakeling just thumping these shots in. And a 1 2 there for Wakeling. Spinning oh, back this from Sugden, but Wakeling's landed. Clean right hand. Sugden looks up to the clock. 35 seconds to go. Chad's got to go, go for broke here because he's clearly behind. It seems to be Michael. Sugden looks absolutely exhausted. He's walked straight onto a jab. Wakeling following it up. 15 seconds. Do or die for Chad Sugden. Wakeling marauding forwards, even though he knows, he must know he's won. He Big still knee. will not let up. Big knee lands. Fantastic. Landslide win there for Michael Wakelin. Push Chad Sugden. Onto the top rope to get him to raise his arms, but I think they're corner now. There's a sense the of Chris expectation. Chris of DMC Motor, please join me Edith in the ring. Well. Yeah. Chris Boo, DMC. Yes. Well, undefeated in 10 years, and you can see why. Yeah. It's just relentless from it's start difficult to, to beat. I tell people at all, he, you know, he throws a lot of shots from all angles. He's got a lot of power, he's got a big engine, and he's got a good chin as well. For someone to throw with that level of aggression for that length of time and just keep walking forwards. He just showed everything. Showed absolutely everything. See the celebrations from uh, Michael Wakeling's family and his young lads in there as well. The decision hasn't been announced yet, but Chad Sugden certainly looks a man resigned to the to the centre of the ring. Fighters to the centre of the ring. Ladies and gentlemen. After five rounds, we go to the scorecards. We have a majority decision. Your winner and the new IAKF Super Middleweight Champion of the World, oh, Michael Whiteley. So there we have it, the IKF super middleweight champion, Michael Wakeling, majority decision.